Hey, what's up guys? So today I just wanted to show off some pretty simple and entirely free tweaks that can be installed directly from Cydia once you're jailbroken on the iOS 11 Electra jailbreak. Now, since the jailbreak just came out a few days ago, not too many complex tweaks specifically designed and intended for iOS 11 have made it out of beta stages. So for now, let's just take a look at these top safe and simple tweaks that we can install directly on our device right now entirely for free and entirely on device using Cydia. So when installing tweaks and adjusting their settings, a great resource to have handy is a quick way to respring your device. For that, I have two options, and I can't decide which one I like better. One is called Traverse, which lets you set custom 3D Touch toggles on the Settings app, and it was pretty easy to set up one to respring my device. Secondly, a more plug and play option is called Pull to Respring. This one requires you to enter the Settings app, but once inside, all you have to do is pull down from the top of the page to respring. Now, both options are pretty nice to have, and pull to respring is almost quicker for me, as typically when I'm modifying tweak settings, I'm in the settings app already. So now when my device is booted back up, I'm going to head to my home screen. Here I have iconoclasm to give me this custom icon layout, and secondly, to achieve these cool page-to-page -page animations, I installed the tweak called Cylinder. Next up, as you may have noticed, my settings app is spinning, and to get that, I installed a tweak called Fingale, which brings some animation to your iOS app icons. Also, at the very bottom, my page indicators have been removed by NoPage.7. Next up, to get these awesome folders, I'm using the tweak called NewGrat Folder. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys this tweak called Weatherlock. Now, this works on the cover sheet as well as on the home screen, but if I just head to the cover sheet right now that I have it enabled on, as you guys can see, it places your current weather conditions as the backdrop of your cover sheet. So heading into my Messages app, an awesome free tweak that gives the Messages app a darker theme is called Dark Messages. Along with that, when I pull up on the keyboard, I'm using the tweak called Blord to give my keyboard a dark theme across all apps and not just within the Messages app. And then on the keyboard as well, I'm using X key to add this extra row of numbers at the top. And on the bottom, I'm using bar emoji from CP Digital Darkroom's beta repository to achieve these emoji icons here. Now for the rest of this video, let's take a look at some iPhone 10 specific tweaks. So first up, music bar adds some pretty sweet music controls below your dock. And I really like this tweak almost more so than music dock X but I'm having trouble taking screenshots for now as it is activated by pressing up on the volume button. Aside from that one flaw, it looks and works pretty great. Now within the control center, I'm using CC Music Artwork, which displays the album art of the song you're currently listening to within the music controls platter. This is a free tweak from the Spark Devs beta repo. Another great tweak for the iPhone X is called Fast Unlock X. So once Face ID is done scanning, instead of leaving your device unlocked but on the cover sheet, with this tweak enabled, it will now take you directly to the home screen without having to swipe up. So that's a pretty good way to quickly unlock your phone. This next tweak, called Double Tap Lock, is a great one to do the exact opposite. When you're on your home screen, simply double tap any blank area to lock your device. Now for this next one, I'm not sure why Apple didn't just implement this from the start, but with this next tweak called Swiper, now when you enter the multitasking pane, you can just now swipe up to close apps instead of having to first enter editing mode. Alright, so these last two tweaks are centered around the iPhone X status bar. One is called Battery Percent X to place the battery percentage in the top right of the status bar. And then the other is called Tap Time, where now when you tap on the time, the date will temporarily be displayed on the top left of the status bar. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you want me to give a more detailed explanation of any of the tweaks I featured today, or if you found one that I missed, leave a comment down below and I may feature it in one of my top tweak of the day videos. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated on more top tweaks as they roll out for iOS 11 and stay on top of the latest jailbreaking news, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. But until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.